I mean, it was a heck of a battle. I mean, the bigs were down there fighting. It was, it was the trenches down there, and we were uh, we were banging each other and trying to get all the offense rebounds, all the defensive rebounds, and it was just a war down there. And then the guards were out there playing tough, and you know, you got to lock and trail hogs throughout the whole entire game. And I felt like our guys did a great job of that. And I mean, it was just we knew it was going to be a, a war the whole entire game going into that 40 minutes and plus. So that's basically what it was, just war. You know, I thought we gave a winning effort, you know. Um, sometimes you come up a little bit short, um, but uh, I'm absolutely proud of our guys. You know, I told our guys uh, what they've, you know, number one, what Colt Dickerson has done over the course of his four years, a two-time All-League guy, will have participated in three postseason tournaments. We feel like we have a good team back, and, and I'm hoping wherever Colt is, because Colt will be playing professional basketball, um, wherever he's at, I want him to celebrate with us when we're back here next year competing for a, a conference championship because he's the guy that's laid the foundation of that. And Avery gets to gets to uh, take it, kind of pass the torch, be our leader, be our point guard. I think he's got a chance to be, you know, and, and I want to help him understand that. But he has it all in him. Uh, I'm just proud of our team. No coach will be more proud of his team from this game forward care how deep teams go into March. This is my team. I love this team. I would go to war with them. I'd be in a foxhole with them and uh, just really proud of them.